guys, welcome back to another video. Of course, my name is Gareth from Park Cameras, and you join me once again where we are talking about Sony lenses. Now, last year we did the full video where we shot with 27 different Sony lenses. This year, Sony have sent us the updated list. So we've got kind of the new lenses which have come out since then. There's, there's a lot of lenses. There's a lot of native Sony lenses. That is the key takeaway here. And even to look at it on paper, yeah, it's a lot. But when you actually start using all of them, there's so many and in different kind of categories, obviously of photography, different genres, but certainly applying to different price points and all kinds of stuff. I mean, just for example, I've got the 35 mil F1.8 here, which is actually a really nice lens versus something like the 135 G Master lens, which is incredible, but they, they work out of very different price points or, or some of the A6400 with the 16 to 50 millimeter, great all rounder. And then we've got things like the 20 millimeter G Master. There's all kinds of stuff that we can talk about. But in this video, we can talk about portraits. Now we talked about landscapes in the last video where we discussed the difference really between shooting with a wide angle and with a longer telephoto option for landscapes, what it kind of gives you what you can get with each one and, and what you might expect to be able to capture. And you know, there's no right and wrong answers, but it gives you different aspects for landscapes. So we can talk a little bit about that with portrait as well. Now we have covered this in the past. We have a video called 85 millimeter versus 35 millimeter, or it might be the other way around. Either way though, we have a video where we explore that a little bit more in detail. We've also done video shooting at different focal lengths for the same kind of portrait. And the key thing that I wanna talk about here, because we're using a bunch of different portrait options here, but the key thing I wanna talk about is what kind of image you want to get, what kind of lens is gonna work for you for the kind of portrait and the kind of message or story that you wanna tell with your photo. So if you're using a wider angle, so let's say the 20 millimeter G lens, F1.8, you know, this is, this is a really beautiful lens, really gives you some great looking photos, but you can use it for portrait. It doesn't have to just be a landscape or architectural uh, lens because it's a wide angle. You can absolutely use that for portrait. You can get some really beautiful looking colors and beautiful even looking bokeh as well. Stepping it up to something like the 35 mil, there's some great options for portraits, for wider portraits. And what you're really gonna start to notice is when you use a wider angle lens like that for a portrait, you're gonna be capturing where your subject is. You're gonna get much more of the surroundings, the background, the depth of field isn't going to be as shallow. So you're gonna get a little bit more of, of what is actually there. Even if you're shooting wide open on something like this, you are gonna get way more of the surroundings. So whether it's urban, forest, something like that, you're gonna get more of where your subject is. So the main part of the story, yep, your subject is of course the subject of the photo, but the main story with those lenses is where they are. With something like the 135 millimeter G Master lens, or of course something like the 85 mil G Master, which is one of my favorite portrait lens ever, you're gonna get a slightly different feel. You know, to get your subject the same size in the photo, you're gonna have to, to change your positioning which is going to affect the background. You know, you're gonna get a very different looking background with something like this, the 135 versus a 35 or a 20, or even something like this, the 50 mil macro, that's f2.8, but it still works actually quite nicely for a portrait lens. With something like a 135, a longer focal length, you're gonna get a really different looking background. So you're gonna get less of it. You're gonna be in more control of what is actually on show. You're gonna have a shallower depth of field. There's a bit more compression as well. So things that are behind your subject can look kind of bigger and closer than they do with a wide angle. So with a, with a longer lens like this, the key kind of message, I think, the story you're telling with that kind of photo is who your subject is. So with the wider angle, it's where they are. With the, the tighter, longer lens, it's who they are. And that's because there's gonna be more isolation. There's gonna be more separation from the surroundings. Your subject is gonna be way more of the focal point of the image with less distraction around them. They're gonna be separated and isolated from that background. Now, you can get some incredibly stunning photos with any of these lenses, really, especially when it comes to portraits. The 35mm f1.4, that gives you some amazing, kind of slightly wider images. The 85mm f1.4, ooh, that gives you some stunning, stunning photos. The 135, I love how zoomed that is. I love how tight that is. 
It really allows you to isolate your subject completely. And if you want to get like a full body shot, you are going to be moving much further away and you're really going to be separating them from their surroundings. So that's something key to just kind of be aware of. With the wider angles, you can take some beautiful portraits, but it is going to be more a story of where they are. The, with the longer telephoto options, 85 and upwards, it's going to be more about who they are. And then with something like a 50 mil, a 45 mil, something like that, but certainly the 50 mil macro f2.8 is not going to be as shallow a depth of field. But 50 mil kind of rides that line between what we're talking about. You know, you're still going to have a bit of the surroundings, but not as much as with a wider angle, but you're still going to be mainly focused in on your subject. But again, not as much as the 135. So that's kind of a good all round and it can give you a, a nice kind of point of view almost the same as the eye you know so that that can be a, a good story for that kind of thing give you a very natural looking portrait compared to a wider angle or a more telephoto option now if you have any questions about any of these lenses cameras anything at all pop it down in the comments i'd love to hear your thoughts about all this as well because it, it kind of fascinates me a little bit you know photography is so Interesting when you start getting down into the nitty gritty stuff like this. Of course, there's links to all these things in the description as well. So you can go and check out all the lenses, the cameras, all that kind of stuff. Now, if you like the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe because that, ooh, that helps me out so much. I will see you in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching.